Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of the Charnel House Trilogy. You may remember a while back I played a little game called Sepulchre. Well, now it is one of three games included in the Charnel House Trilogy, and I thought I would play it because I really like Sepulchre. And plus, uh, Jim fucking Sterling's son is voice acting in this game, so can't miss that. We'll start off with Inhale and just uh, play through the entire game from there. Let's do it. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, Wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Well, good thing, you don't have to. Because I'm in control now. Alright, so as you can see, this is a point-and-click game, just like Sepulchre was, made in the same style. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. Well, that would be silly. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... since... well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. Just throw it away, it's fine. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. So when you say Gilbert's a pot plant, what do you mean by that? There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. I assume I will have to have an item to get it free. Books, games, a couple of CDs, very me, and an asthma inhaler, for some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. Well, is she your roommate? She hasn't been home in over a month? Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Yeah, I hear ya. My trusty portable radio. These days, it gets a lot of use. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. Ooh, we should check them out. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The Nist just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. 
I can understand that. Constantly yearning for an audience. <laughs> I mean, I've always kind of talked to myself a little bit. Here and there. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. It surely is glamorous, you're right. Uh, let's see, look out the window. It's a surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Uh, I don't think you get how this works. I tell you to do things, and you do them. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Let's try it. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Why was it behind the radiator in the first place? It's an odd place to put a package. Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. Oh, a little, uh, little jab at uh, game reviews there. I like it. Memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. Yeah, he actually won at a claw machine. The only person I've heard of winning at a claw machine is uh, Sid from Toy Story. The E key sticks, and there's a cigarette burn on page up, but I can't bring myself to part with it. I don't know why, really. Eh, who uses page up anyway? A mouse. I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the joy of basic no-frills hardware. First thing tomorrow, I'm ordering a gaming mouse. Wow, that's really funny. I just ordered a gaming mouse. Like, 15 minutes ago. I've had just a regular one for a long time. Probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. It's not that expensive. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Well, okay. Turn your uh, computer on. Power on. Good idea. Thank you. I like how I'm playing a computer game. <laughs> and, I, and I'm getting on the computer. <laughs> oh, what? A photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? Right, right. It's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there, too. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. I'm not changing it. I kinda like bitter reminders. You gonna change the scribbled out face? Nope, not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. All right then, wow, whoa, your taskbar is full. Your desktop is fairly clean though. Yeah, good job. Nothing else we can do except look at the desktop wallpaper. Eh, we don't have anything in our inventory. An unremarkable desktop lamp. Turn it off. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. Wow, you've got a lot of stuff stuck in uh, odd places around here. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. All right, well, Sam can stay. I've already read it. Twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. Hmm, okay. Right, let's do this. Let's do what? Oh, what are we doing? Drama, as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course. I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, so we've got to find it. Is it this? It's this. Ah, here it is, I think. Yeah. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. What? Nah. Okay. 
Uh, right. Um, okay. Let's, uh, we'll come back to this. Maybe you have it. Didn't you say you had books in your bookcase? Nah. Well, I was hoping you could, you said time to read. I've got no desire to go out. Well, I'll look through the people. The door to my apartment. Sure, I'm going to stand around staring at it all evening. The peephole doesn't even work. Well, I didn't know that, but thank you so much. Maybe you could check to see if your package is outside the door. Maybe it's come since you sure. arrived. Sure, I could use a shower. Well, I... Okay, I mean... Do, uh... Do whatever makes you happy. Wear the same clothes after taking a shower. Perfect. Uh... Portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. That's boring though. I like your description more. Where does this one go? I assume your bedroom. The kitchen. Oh. I'm not actually a bad cook. I just usually can't be bothered. Well, you're gonna be bothered now. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. Where uh I'm where do you sleep? Do you sleep on the couch? Ah, the sofa. So many happy memories of sitting here, doing fuck all. I have nothing but love for this sofa. Wait, no, the other thing. Apathy. It's a sofa. Actually, it's a bed, too. So you do sleep there. Odd that your apartment doesn't have a bedroom. Um... My adorable little p Gilbert. Ah, got it parcel I hadn't opened yet. What? Let's see. <laughs> what? So you want to give up smoking, a self-help book by I. Burnett. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. Okay, I guess you smoke because you have an ashtray and you have that book. Weird places to put parcels. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Well, that's odd. Maybe we'll be able to find the key somewhere. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Yeah, me too. I was afraid to click on it because I thought the music would stop. It... Ah, got it. What? The parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A 10-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. A, a ten foot extendable ladder, huh? Okay. Now this is really helping me to discover my password. It doesn't seem like she wants to use uh, this thing on anything. Nah. Oh, this is the. Oh. Gotcha. No, no. Uh, resume, please. Okay, we can find we can find whatever it is, right? I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. Well, we found all the parcels, I think, because I just got a Steam achievement for it. Let's do this then. Oh. Oh. Okay. What does it say? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. All right, I see Atlas Shrugged right here. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, a beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding, Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. I was about to say, <laughs> objectivist ethics, really? Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Ah, I see. You want to read it now? Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. All right, not Ayn Rand, I, I assume. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. <laughs> uh, I get that joke. Good. The Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. Sophia's inhaler. Might as well bin this tomorrow. Yeah, take it. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. I like how it feels like she's talking to me when I uh, when I tell her to do things. I haven't thought about this book in years. 
I doubt it's the one. We got Sanctum right Sanctum here. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read it. Well, you haven't read it yet, should. right? Yeah. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Well, fine then. Uh, wait, have we looked at this one? 50 Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume this is it. 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. Wait, is this it? I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Okay, I guess not. Well, I the thought it said... Walks the, shores the writer walks the shores. Final kiss. Time to read, Alex. All right, Alex, let's do this. Death, the High Cost of Living, just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. You know what Alex reminds me of? She reminds me of Max from Life is Strange, except legit. <laughs> I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. Oh, Jesus. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. Good job. I'm glad we can joke around. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Oh, come on, no special characters in that password? You're just asking to get hacked. Let's do it. Come on, put an exclamation point in there or something, a parenthesis. Uh, wait. Well, we know it now, right? Hit. 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 Yeah. We know the, we know it though. Do it. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. Train tickets, huh? Two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? You can call them. They should have like 24, what? Now it's storming. And this is gonna be fun making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game. So maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Yeah, you might have uh, side, like an unexpected oh, visitor on Day your sofa. On the sofa. Wait. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. All right, fine. We'll we'll get a DVD then. Uh, in here? Oh wait, it's locked. Hmm. I think I can jimmy it open with something if I can find something that'll fit. Oh, I, I, I thought she was going to say the same thing she said last time, but she said something different. Well, this is just, these are just books. Okay. Something to jimmy it open, eh? Something to jimmy it open. Can you go into the kitchen now? There's tons of things to jimmy. Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. Apparently, freaking Gavin. The kitchen. I'm not acting. Interesting. So, the things that she says changes based on what you've done before. That's, that's good.
You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Well, this is a point-and-click adventure game, so I would expect nothing less. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. Well, look at that. Look what we just did. I'm not Let's look in there. It again after all that. No, 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 look in there. Look it. Right. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, can I choose the movie? Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Well, well what's crappy horror? Maybe I recognize it. Phone's ringing. Well, I guess we should answer it. <laughs> Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. What? You like Rob? What? What's the... <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Uh oh It's gonna be something creepy. What is it? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. Uh-oh. I... Thank you. Who was it? I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, inhaler. Right, right, right. So wait, that inhaler was for you, why didn't... Okay. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be all right. I... I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, Honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... It's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Thank God for you, Robert. Wait. I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. Days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow, too. Well, man, what's <laughs> what's the deal? What was that call? What was the second phone call? Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night. Blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, 
A woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon.